Hello and welcome to today's video. We're back at former Britain's Best Lawn 2016. It's far from looking like that at the moment. I'm having an annual meadow grass nightmare. So this is what this video is about today. So let's have a walk over and see what we've been up to. Okay, it is Friday the 28th of April. We are so behind here in Bolton. The weather has just not been playing ball. It is still absolutely freezing. My hands were numb earlier. And this lawn is looking a far cry from what it used to, but we will get it back. So what I've been doing is over the last few weeks, and I still keep finding more. I thought I'd done enough the other day. I've done a three hour session the other day. My knees are killing me on my hands and knees, up and down, digging out annual meadow grass. Not to mention these big patches. These were like the big patches, but as you can see, loads of little holes where I've been digging out little patches. I got a blister on my index finger, another bit that I've missed. It's just a nightmare. So hopefully we can get this one looking something like again. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be filling in a few of these holes. I can't do them all today. What I'm gonna do is I've got my section here, which similar to last year where we dug it out, I'll just show you that now, where we dug it out to replace that into the holes. This is like an annual meadow grass free area. I've kind of done a good inspection of that and dug out any that was there. And I'm gonna use my turf box today so we can get a nice even finish filling in these holes. So let's show you how we're gonna do that. All right, so the first job we need to do is take our piece that we're gonna transfer into the hole over there and level it off in our turf box. Now, when I made this, I made it quite deep, probably a bit too deep. So I've just put some old turf that we've dug out from down there, which I'll show you later on. And I've just put that in the bottom just to raise it up a little bit. And we'll just dig out this section. Like I said before, I've already pre-cut this the other day with the edging tool. And then hopefully this will fit in here. Perfect, all measured. And what you can see now, is that we're gonna just shave this top off so it's nice and level all the way along. Then when we put it in our holes, we can get a nice level finish. So I'm just gonna get our saw. We can just throw it back in the hole there. Saw it off. It's a bit drier than it was when last time I used it, even though it was quite wet. Then it was a bit stodgy once it and it was all very clay and claggy, whereas this soil it's mainly sand, so it's just breaking off nice and easy. And the roots are holding the soil together, which is what we want. So we'll just straighten that off. And there you have it, one nice piece of turf. Now the challenge now is getting it out. So I guess we can just get it out with our fingers like that, get it in. And there's just enough weight on this so the scarifier won't rip it out. So what we can do is now we've got a nice level piece of turf and we can take that over to one of the holes. And what we'll do is we'll just take a bit of this soil with us just in case we've dug down a bit too deep. We can backfill and then put this in. Let's go do it. Okay, so we've got our piece of turf nicely cut and we're gonna fit it in our hole. I have just made this one just to fit, just for effect. But when I do the rest, I'll just have to cut them to size. So we can put it in. And you've, what you've got to do is you've just got to gauge how deep you think it is. Now what you could do, and what I might do, we're going to come back tomorrow and do the rest. I'm just doing one to show you today. I'm going to do the rest tomorrow. Is I'm going to get a piece of wood and I'm going to cut out the side profile of that. So imagine like a piece of wood like that. I'm going to nip out the corners to that depth and then I can put it on there. So then bits that I've cut out rest on there and then it'll give me an actual depth and I can just go back and forth and screed that down level with soil and then I know that will fit in perfect. But just for today, we're just gonna put it in and then what else you can do is just put that on there like that. You can just give it a little tap with a shovel and then we're totally fine with that. And then that has got the weight behind it so we can scarify right over that, scalp it, top dress it and you'll never know we were here. So that's what we do. I've just got something to show you down there what we're doing as well while we're getting it all dug up. So let's go and have a look. What we've decided to do whilst we were digging all this out is that this area was really mossy and had leather jackets all in it. So we're just going to skim that off and because it got quite high over the kerb there, we're just going to feather it back down with some top dressing and reseed. We've done it all the way along. 
it's very difficult for me to cut around right these you see so because it doesn't get cut or just strimmed you get moss growing and over here this was really badly affected with leather jacket so the best thing to do is we're just going to dig it out like we've done and then this will all fit in real nice but again thought i'd done a great job with the annual meadow grass and we've got a dandelion as there as well i'm sure i'm just convinced it grows in the night honestly so i spent three hours here the other day and i thought i'd done a really good job and as i walk over it it's just it's just even worse so i think what happens is that because you just concentrate that much on trying to get it you end up kind of blind to it because you just you get grass blind i don't know if that's an actual phrase but that's what i'm saying it is and then you think you've got it and then you turn it out you haven't and then the sun came out funnily enough as well and that mean, means you can't see it that well just because of the glare uh, so it is better picking out on days like this where it's grey and there you go you've got some kind of light variant of rye glass there we'll get that out but yeah so what I'll do is now crack on with the rest and then next time you see me we'll be a scary frame all right, sorry, it's just a short one today. Just thought I'd show you how we're gonna fill in these holes. So have a great bank holiday weekend. And when next time you see me here, we're gonna be scarifying, overseeding and top dressing and getting this back to its former glory. So take care and we'll see you soon.